There's no doubt that the internet has made our lives more convenient, whether through connecting with friends, watching shows, or shopping online. However, there are dangers lurking in the corners as various agencies, companies, and individuals are interested in harvesting your data. This is why knowing how to protect yourself online is a must. Before we go into the ways you can protect your privacy online, be sure to check out our latest VPN deals through our link in the description below. VPNs are one of the most convenient and effective online privacy tools you can use today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tips and guides to protect your online privacy. Now, you may be thinking, hey, I'm not a big shot, so why would I worry about anyone wanting my data? Or how to protect my privacy online at all? The truth is that your data is very valuable to a lot of interested parties, from tech companies to government agencies, not to mention hackers and scammers looking to gain access to your accounts. This is why online privacy is important. With so many threats coming from different sides, you need to guard your privacy with the right online tools. Keep watching our video guide to know the essential online privacy tools. While there's no one easy solution to guard your privacy and secure your data, there are a bunch of tools you can use to give yourself more protection as you spend your time online. There are seven aspects of your online activities and digital data that you need to look out for. Web browsing, emails, ISP tracking, passwords, private messaging, hard drive, data remnants on your device. I'll go through each one to let you know how to protect your online privacy. Number one, web browsing. Undeniably, many of your online activities are coursed through a web browser, which makes it a goldmine of data for interested parties. You can secure your browsing with the following steps. Use an ad blocker. Much of the malware today hides behind pop-up ads, and one click is all it takes to infiltrate your system. Lessen the risk by using reputable ad blockers. I recommend the following browser extensions. Ghostery, Privacy Badger, and NoScript. These don't just block ads, they also make sure your online activities aren't tracked, and they block malicious scripts and potentially harmful content. Use HTTPS for all your site visits. HTTPS as opposed to HTTP adds a layer of encryption to secure the communication between your browser and the server. You can use HTTPS everywhere, which forces an HTTPS connection with the sites you visit. Use Tor. For complete safety while web browsing, you should consider using Tor. Tor is an open source software for anonymous browsing that can also bypass internet censorship restrictions. Two, emails. You may think your emails are secure, but most popular email providers like Gmail and Yahoo actually have access to your emails. This means they can collect your data for targeted ads or pass the information to third parties. For a more secure email provider, I recommend using ProtonMail, which uses end-to-end -end encryption to prevent anyone outside the sender and recipient to read your emails. Yes, that includes ProtonMail itself and law enforcement agencies. Three, ISP tracking. VPNs have been growing in popularity for their effectivity and efficiency in encrypting your data and routing everything through a remote server so that no one, not even your ISP provider, can track your activities. It's also helpful for when you want to watch geoblock shows on Netflix and other streaming services. For VPNs, I highly recommend NordVPN, Surfshark, PrivateVPN, ExpressVPN, and ViperVPN. 4. Passwords Passwords are used to secure your accounts, which makes them a favorite target among hackers and scammers. Making complicated passwords may help to deter hackers from cracking them, but it also makes these passwords harder to remember. Password managers help to securely store multiple highly complex passwords and fill them in at sites you want to log in to make it easier and more convenient for you to access your accounts. My top picks for password managers are Dashlane, LastPass, NordPass, and 1Password. 5. Private Messaging Apps Many popular messaging apps used for both personal communications and organizations are vulnerable to data breaches and malicious attacks. To make your private messages actually private, you need messaging apps that use end-to-end -end encryption. End-to-end -end encryption ensures that the contents of your messages are only seen by the sender and the intended recipient. This means they can't be read by third parties and even the companies running the messaging service itself. For secure messaging apps, I highly recommend Telegram and Signal. Though with Telegram, you have to make sure you choose the encrypted messaging option. 6. Hard Drive So far, we've covered activities that leave you vulnerable when you're online. But data breaches don't just happen when you're on the internet. When somebody gets a hold of your computer's hard drive, they can also access the data stored there. This is where tools that help encrypt your hard drive come in handy. For Mac users, this already comes built into your computer. Simply enable File Vault and your drive is encrypted. For Windows PC users, you may want to consider downloading Descriptor app. 
a free and open source encryption system for your entire drive. With these tools, even if someone gets a hold of your drive, they won't be able to access it without your password. Seven, data remnants on your device. Deleting a file on your Mac or PC may remove it from your view, but it's actually still there, or at least remnants of it, that can be still be pieced together by skilled hackers. Not to worry though, there are apps available to ensure that the files that you delete are obliterated completely. For Mac users, you can use an app called Clean My Mac that has great secure erase function. For Windows PC users, you can try CC Cleaner to completely clean out temporary and unwanted files. Both apps are free to use. Bottom line, with so many cybersecurity threats today, how to protect your online privacy should be a top of mind. To recap, there are seven key aspects of your digital data, whether online or on your personal device, that you need to be watchful for. These are web browsing, email, ISP tracking, passwords, private messaging, hard drive, data remnants on your device. For web browsing, you may want to use ad blockers and browser extensions like HTTPS Everywhere to prevent tracking and to secure your data while you are using the internet. You may also want to consider using Tor Browser for all-around safe web browsing. For emails, go for providers that offer end-to-end -end encryption to ensure no one but you and the person you're corresponding with reads your emails. Consider using ProtonMail, which is based in Switzerland where data protection laws are strictly observed. To make sure your online activities are safe from prying eyes, including your ISP provider, try using a VPN like NordVPN, Surfshark, PrivateVPN, ExpressVPN, and ViperVPN. Storing your passwords has never been easier and more secure with password managers. Consider using Dashlane, LastPass, NordPass, and 1Password for password safekeeping. As with emails, your private messages need to be encrypted from end-to-end -to, -end to ensure complete privacy. Try using Telegram or Signal for safe and secure communications. Cybersecurity threats don't just happen when you're online. Protect your hard drive with encryption tools like FileVault for Mac OS and Descriptor for Windows. Make sure your deleted files are really gone with data destroyer apps like Clean My Mac for Mac users and CC Cleaner for Windows users. Beef up your online privacy and security with these online privacy tools. Add blockers and secure browser extensions, VPNs, password manager, secure private messaging apps, data destroyers. If you enjoyed this video, check out our reviews on some of the top VPNs today and visit the link in our description below for the latest VPN deals. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on more tips and guides to secure your online privacy.